Hey guys, how's it going? It's Visionary Skills, a Brandon here. And today is going to be something a little bit different. Today on the screen I have some FIFA 17. This is a game that I've been playing for a long time and it is something that I really love, a sport that I do love. And um, it's been something a part of my life, just not just the game, but like just in real life playing the actual sport. Um, and I'm going to be saying a little bit of the story, a little bit about an injury that I had that kind of tilted my career downwards. It, it's, not, it's not something that's really crazy. And I do know it's not something that should have stopped my young soccer career. Um, and yeah, so I did start playing at three years old. I started very early. My grandfather and my dad, and they got me into it very early because they grew up playing soccer, especially my dad. He started playing in Chile. And it, it's been something, a part of the family for a very, very, very long time. And we, we love the sport. And it's always something that we would do at any family parties that, that we do outside or we go camping or when we do a barbecue or something like that. It's always been a sport over anything. Soccer has been something that we have all loved. And I truly love the sport. It's an amazing and beautiful sport. And it's just, it's so amazing how it's growing so much here in North America. And it's a sport that I think anyone can get to play. Um, so I did start playing at three and I did play it for a few teams. And the few teams I played for, I can't really remember the names too much. But I'm sure they'll come back to me and... They weren't really two crazy teams. And over here actually coming up, it was something that I thought would be a little bit funny. And here you go. So yeah, the guy did get a red card early off in the game. And it was something that I guess it kind of helped me win the game a little bit. Um, I thought that was a little bit of a funny edit. Just... I don't know, it was something I was like, okay, let me try that, maybe it might be cheesy, I don't know, but I guess it was something that I would try out, uh, I guess practice makes perfect, right, so I guess me editing and editing and editing more videos um, will kind of help me improve my skills, and obviously more down in the road, I'll be getting better software, better editing software, and I'll be able to make much better content and better quality videos for you guys, which I'm very excited for, and yeah, so I did start up the game one nothing early, which I think is, is pretty good, um, I, th I think I did end up winning this game. So after I was playing for a few teams, I ended up going to play for Sporting. Um, the, the Sporting team that is from Portugal, they have a, they have like a, some type of a club here in uh, Toronto. So when I went to them, my, I think my dad brought me there. Uh, and then I played a few games for them, a few practices. And then actually in one of the practices, uh, I think it was 10 or 11 years old, uh, one of the practices, we were doing this digital drill where there's two two groups and the coach was obviously in the middle he'd kick a ball down and both of us would, would run towards the ball and whoever wins to the ball like we basically beat each other to the ball cause some kind of a race and me running to the ball with another guy when we got close together we kind of like tumbled together and like you know, kind of those like cartoony things that you see in like a cartoon where two characters kind of like fall in like a ball together kind of thing so that kind of happened with us and then after that happened, I ended up realizing that I'm laying on the ground and I ended up realizing that I broke my wrist. I dislocated my wrist and my wrist was out of place. So I don't know, my hand was kind of like, you see my arm straight and then my wrist would be like in another direction. So at realizing I was like 10, 11 years old, I was kind of like, oh, whoa, you know, that, that kind of put me in shock. Um, after doing that, I ended up going to the hospital. Uh, they had to get had to get my wrist realigned. I was put in a cast. I can't remember how long I had it in a cast for, maybe like four or five, six months around there. Then after getting the cast off, obviously you had to do like a stress, like a, one of those stress balls, I think, I think they're called, and try to get the, the power of my wrist back. And then after that, I would guess I would say I was never the same. I was really nervous to play after that. I didn't really want to injure myself. Being at a young age, I kind of, kind of shocked myself a bit. I didn't really want to hurt myself again, and I was really nervous to play. I never had that same confidence that I had when I used to play when I was three to ten. Uh, I really never had that, that same drive, right? kind of beat players to the ball and, and push players off the ball and just be strong. And that kind of hindered the progress a lot that time I was off, and it just kind of made me think, I was like, oh, I don't want to play anymore. You know, it just made me think, like, I just kind of want to give up. And I really regret that decision I made in my life. Um, I was a good player. I'm not trying to sound cocky or anything. I was talented, and I still am. I guess it's just the matter of me not playing for that for four to five, six months and then being nervous to play and then I stopped playing until I was about 14 so it 
it, it was a few years, and I just never had that. The talent is there. Obviously, when someone's talented, the talent is there. It's just a matter of finding that talent again after you haven't played for a long time. And I, I was not like I was terrible. I was still good. I just wasn't the same that I was when I was younger. Um, and there's something I kind of regret, like just that I stopped playing. I wish I would have continued, but I guess that's just life. You know, like sometimes things happen in life for a reason, and sometimes you just have to go with it. Um, in high school, I did decide to trial for for the school team. I think it was grade nine. Um, obviously, I'm out of shape. I haven't I haven't played in a few years, but I was like, okay, me and my friend, we just like decided, oh, let's try out for the team. Obviously, that didn't go too well, and obviously, I didn't make it. <laughs> well, that's not, that's not really a surprise. So I didn't make the team, and that kind of just made me maybe more like I'm, I don't want to say depressed, which just made me like, oh, okay, you know what, uh, like screw this, I'm not gonna do this anymore, whatever. I gave up, and. That was obviously my fault. I haven't played in a long time. I haven't been working out. I've I was just really out of I was out of shape. I was chubby. I'm not gonna lie. To to this day, I'm not chubby anymore. You know, and I'm I'm, I'm happy that I kind of made that life decision to kind of start losing weight and to not continue gaining weight. And I'm happy for the decision I made. Something a little bit like this is just if you guys have a goal, set yourself that goal, and just strive for that goal. Don't give up don't don't give up on the little things you know just set yourself a goal that's that you know that you can obtain or that you want to obtain but may sound like it may sound impossible but those are the goals that are worth trying to reach right you say you want to own a lamborghini one day let's say you don't get to own the lamborghini one day you get to own an audi or you know some other type of um, classy very high-end car you know, just set yourself goals and, and thrive for those goals and just work hard. One thing I learned throughout my life is that things don't come free and things do not come easy. And hard work pays off. And having the dedication to do something and to stick to one thing and to finish it and complete it is something that, pe- something that y- you can value a lot. And it's something that I do value a lot. I think hard work and like it, it just pays off over time. As I can, I can say again, things don't come free and things don't come easy. Success is hard and success does take a lot of hard work. A lot of people that are successful worked hard throughout their lives. You know, they sacrifice things. They sacrifice going out with friends. They sacrifice, you know, some people sacrifice living in a house. Some people live on the streets to become successful. Some people, you know, didn't eat for a few days to become successful. And that's just, sometimes that, that just plays parts. Some people have it easier than others. And some people can become successful in a much easier way, you know. And some people, it's just a little bit harder, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. For everyone, and anyone can become successful. Anyone can own a big house. Anyone can own a, a fancy car. Anyone can, you know, have everything in life. It's just a matter of how hard you work and how dedicated you are to that one thing. And I feel like that's something that a lot of people should work to, like work hard. You know, don't, don't give up on the easy things. Just work hard and, and basically do the best you can at everything. Don't... Don't do one one task and do a half ass. Do do that task good. Do it better than than you would expect yourself to do it. You know, impress other people and impress yourself. Work to make yourself a better person, and and I think that working yourself to make yourself a better person will pay off a lot in in, in the long run. And I just I guess I guess this video is just to say like me. Yes, I did have the injury, and I do regret not working towards that like the sport soccer to play. At a professional level, um, some people say I could. You know, some people say, "Oh, you know, you're too old" or whatever. And sometimes you're never too old. For me, I realize that I don't have that same drive that I had before when I used to play. I still do love the sport and I still follow it a lot. And it's just something I think that if you guys do have a goal, just go for it. You know, you you might fail, but that's the whole the whole part of it. You just get up and work hard and go for it again. And that's gonna be everything for today. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. I had lots of fun making it, and I hope you guys have a great 2017 and a great year. And this is your boy Visionary Skills, and I'm out.